It's all I want, toad the wet sprocket for all the Patreon folks. Thank you for your votes and your ideas, and also for Joe Kenneth, Corey Slaner, Mason McKinnon, Smashfinger, and this guy's been waiting a long time for this, Mr. Eagle S. I needed to fashion a chord chart to help myself make sense of this, so I might as well give it to you. It's free, no strings attached, ryanlent.com, show notes, but the title, of course, is in super secret backwards code, so no miscreants can horn in on our super secret information. I'm getting really good at saying that sentence. Uh, all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth, wisdom tooth extraction. The first verse is the only time in this song when D is major. All subsequent times, even in the verses, D is minor. And I know Mr. Eagle S was very keen on knowing the tinkly doos that happen here. Sometimes it's an auxiliary guitar. Sometimes it's the main guitar. I put down everything I could fathom and hear. And if you put your finger somewhere and it sounds good, we'll do that too. But on the D, we're gonna take our middle finger off the baby E string. <laughs> on F major seven, which is baby F, but we're gonna leave the baby E string open, so no need even to do that mini bar there. We wanna hear the B string third fret, followed by the open baby E string. On the C, I heard two different things happen. Once was the sus two trick, just take your middle finger off, put it back on whenever it feels good to you. And then the other thing I heard was the baby E string go three, one, open. You can re-engage that mini bar with your pointer finger there to grab the first fret. And on the A minor, you grab the E string third fret. That makes it an A minor seven, but that's neither here nor there. D, F major seven. Side so soft, I'm calling that the pre-chorus, because it comes from before the chorus, I guess that's not so crazy. It's gonna be D minor now, and wanna hear the E string go one open, and then pluck the B string. Two, F major seven, same treatment. Now on the C this time, we're gonna take our pointer finger off, and then we're going to A minor. A minor 7, followed by F major 7 again, same deal. A minor. And then the B flat chord is actually B flat suspended too, so this might be a little easier for you than regular old B flat, which is this horrible, awful thing. We're gonna do 1, 3, 3. So the B string is the first fret. 1, 3, 3, 1, 1. All right, here we go, pre-chorus, D minor, F major seven, C, A minor, F major seven, A minor, B flat suspended two, into the chorus. Now this is where I'm absolutely sure that the aforementioned tinkly doos are the auxiliary guitar, 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 <laughs> but nonetheless, with your guitar, you can do it. <laughs> Leaving it in, why not? You can do the auxiliary tinkly doos with your rhythm guitar. Here we go, on the chorus. Wanna re-engage that mini bar there so we can get the E string first fret. Same deal on the A minor. On the D minor, take the pointer finger up and put it back on, and then C is the B string thing. county jail kind of half step moving up to that f great job toad and after the chorus of course we come to a verse but as i stated already the d's are not major anymore they're minor so play the verse except d minor instead and then we get to another pre-chorus which is the same as we already talked about i hope you're following along and then we do another chorus and then we get to the bridge which is g a minor g here's 
part repeats. C, G, back to F. C, G, D. And then F. And on this F I heard the E string go one, open, B3, B1. So that's why I didn't play big F. I played little F so I could do that. I didn't write that one down. As you can see, I ran out of tab lines and I was desperately trying to put this on one sheet of paper. Thank goodness for the repeat. Anyways, that's it. Those are all the pieces. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. <laughs>